It is a little bit of Friday live, a little bit of Friday live, a little bit of Friday live. Hey, everybody, I see eyeballs popping on. I'm all alone in the studio today, so hopefully you can hear me. And if you can, if you can give me a thumbs up. Hello, hello, Peggy. Hello, hello God's desire for me. Hello, Patty. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for popping on today. Um, if you can hear me, please let me know. I have my weird, um, I'm all alone in the studio, so things could get kind of crazy in here today. Um, here we go. I put some links in. Hi, Beverly. We got a couple of thumbs up. Good sound. Woo! Woo! Okay, why am I here? I've been meaning to pop in all week and share some information with you guys, right? Because it's National Scrapbook Day. And of course, or tomorrow is National Scrapbook Day. And you know what? I left my little things over here on my desk. I'm going to grab them really, really quickly. Oh, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Okay. So uh, the National Scrapbook Day sale actually just went live. So for those of you who are a part of the Tolly Tiffany tribe, I'm giving you a heads up that you can start shopping now. You're going to get, hey, and the uh, clearance category went from 40% to 65% off today for the, and it'll be through tomorrow. But the sale is only supposed to be 24 hours, but because of the way the time zones work and all that stuff, it got turned on in the UK early and everything is active now, including um, the Totally Tiffany Tribe extra 5% off coupon code. So, and I just checked it. I just tried to check out using the code myself to make sure it was working. Uh, that code is TTNSBD23. It gives you an extra 5% off your entire order. So not only site-wide is everything 20% off, scrap racks 30% off, clearance went from 40% to 65% off. You can add an extra 5% using that code. So jot that down and use it. What do I wanna to talk to you about today? What do I want to bring to your attention? So I've got all this technology kind of lined up here so that, and you know how, how tech savvy I am here. This could be more of a challenge than, um, than anything else. But I just wanted to go through the website and what's on sale and what the great values were. So first thing is in the feed today, I put a link to your, um, to a printable scrap rack shopping list, right? And I have all the scrap rack stuff piled up on this side of my desk. So if you have questions, I'll pull it into the screen and we can talk about that. I'll try to watch the feed. Like I said, I'm here all by myself. So I guess getting questions um, is another challenge. I am gonna try to log in here uh, to the scrap rack website or the Totally Tiffany website and sort of guide you through. So if you can split your screen and um, I'm getting, this is a new, okay, here we go. Uh, not now. No, thanks. Totally Tiffany. Uh, so if you can maybe split your screen and then you'll be able to see kind of the things that I think are really great deals. So of course, um, uh, there we go. So the first thing I want you to notice that, um, First thing I want you to notice on the Totally Tiffany website is in the upper left-hand corner, there is now a clearance category, okay? So the clearance category, if you click on that or go to that, um, you're gonna find some of your favorite things in there that are a great price. So um, on the first line, the die stamp and supplies power pack, that doesn't belong in the clearance category. It is 20% off, that's which is a great deal. Um, 25% with your coupon code, but it's, um, now I got all kinds of things going on here, but it's not actually a clearance item. I don't know why it's there. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm just trying to make sure I don't have any questions popping up here. So the die file panel sleeve, if you're looking for a large storage for something, 
that is just a clear plastic pocket. It fits the die file panels from the, um, from the wooden die file, but it's great storage for other things. And again, awesome price. This daily double um, scrap rack pages, $4.54. Don't want to miss out on those. The two inch store and go bag, this is the two inch punch pack, right? So if you're looking for that deep um, punch pack, that's definitely the way to go. Uh, second line is, um, uh, second line, there's a Totally Tiffany um, craft cart. Ah, oh, where did my website go? Tabletop. And that is, um, it says try again later on the website. That's ridiculous. All right, I'm going to go to here. I'm going to go on this page. I'm going to kind of flip to the screen here. Um, that tabletop is for the old craft cart with the round bars. It will not fit on your square bar paper cart, just so you know. Great deal, but it's it, it fits on the old craft cart with the pull-out drawers with the round tubes not the square tubes and then you've got the like the third thing over is the kiwi lane designer template organizer set the pictures are terrible on this which is why i thought it'd be good to um to talk to you guys about it that does include the kiwi lane box so with that bundle you are getting the box and you're getting eight pockets so that's a smoking deal um get the you get the box and the eight pockets in there so if you love this 12 by 6 box i think the price on it right now is like oh now this is back up okay five dollars and 94 cents you're getting the box and eight pockets so that's a great deal especially if you love the box now we've been out of stock on the box alone for quite a while it is back in stock now so you can get that um box on the sale today as well. If you search Kiwi Lane, it'll pop up in the Kiwi Lane collection. Um, okay. The four, the three ring album storage box, the price on that is, is wrong. I mean, it's a little bit of a discount, but it should, it should be a bigger discount than that. That's an issue I already brought up. It's still a great buy. Those are normally seven. They're normally uh, seven or eight bucks a piece, or I think they're seven dollars and fifty cents a piece. So normally thirty dollars. It's twenty seven sixty four for four. You're gonna get another um, five percent off of that as well. So if you want those large three ring storage boxes, album storage boxes, and they work for so many other things, they'll hold a scrap rack binder. They'll hold our um, our scrap masters. So, but I don't think. I'm going to, I'm going to click over here real quickly. Um, uh, the 12 by 12 storage and supply case, the two door drawer, drawer, 12 by 12 storage and supply case. That's not supposed to be on clearance. Um, I don't know why it's there, but it, that is an incredible, incredible deal. The double sided. I mean, everything on here, y'all can look, you know, Stephanie buddy bags, three Stephanie buddy bags for $6 and 64 cents crazy. I don't know why that's on there either, but all these things that are listed, um, on the clearance tab, you don't want to miss today. There's something called the totally Tiffany hang and hold uh, towel tower. And you can see it. That is this thing. I'm going to grab mine. So for those of you who have hang and hold, um, the picture is bad there because the only picture I guess they could, they had was with the towel tower next to the paper pocket. This is the towel tower, right? So it hangs on your hang and hold bar and um, it holds a roll of paper towels. So it's great for a craft room, right? It's exactly what we need when we're crafting. I mean, I don't know, maybe there's some of you who don't make a huge mess when you're crafting. I'm not one of you. I'm, I'm a messy crafter as well. Question, scrap master, scrap organizers. Is it really out of stock? Uh, boy, I... I don't know um, if it's it's they should have all the stock should have been updated. But I'm telling you right now, just looking at this, that how fast things are selling out of the clearance category, they may be selling equally fast on the website, which is why I wanted to pop jump in and talk talk to you guys and say, hey, the sale is live. Because if you wait until midnight when you get the email that says it's National Scrapbook Day. Um, some of this stuff is going to be out of stock. So I will double check the stock on that. Now, remember, it's also $50 free shipping day. So I will check.
check stock. As a matter of fact, I, I, I hate to do all this at the same moment, um, but I am going to send an email that says, are we really out of, uh, are we out of scrap masters? We'll see if James replies to me. Ah, uh, I didn't, I'm not very good at the fast texting. Scrap masters, question mark. We'll see. We'll see if he gets right back to me or not. I know they're trying to have people online there to kind of help navigate this sale so that we don't have trouble with things as we're going forward. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back here and, but I, I think the inventory was pretty well. Um, will someone type the code, please? The code is TT, Totally Tiffany National, Scrap Book Day 23. Here we go. NSBD 23. Woo woo, get your extra discount on there. There's also the purple, uh, the paper cart apron um that they're showing there that is for the old paper cart the short paper cart it will not fit on the tall paper cart that had the double panels so vinyl roll sleeves please don't miss out on those right i don't think we're going to continue to make them i they may only come in the kit but you're going to get 30 of them for three dollars and 14 cents they're great as you know i use them all over the craft room so they're all good to go um, so don't miss out on those either. Uh, so I think those are kind of the big things. The The Project Planner Memento Keeper, that's this guy here, right? This big binder um, that has the Project Planner pages inside of it, right? Oh, look at this fancy thing. I don't know. Were we able to use this the other day with... Um, with... So... This, this is the project planner notebook comes with three pages. Let's see how that's looking. Oh, let's go a little forward there. Um, so you can get like, this is a whole kit with the video in it, but this is an entire mini, mini album kit. So this binder with the pages in it, great for project planning, memento keeping, and it is available, um, on that, uh, clearance page as well. So don't miss out on that. All right. Um, also on the clearance page is the scrap rack travel base with wings. And even if you don't travel right now, or you don't think you're going to travel with your scrap rack, this extra base, it's a great deal. Uh, was it on clearance? Yeah, it is. It's a great deal. $31 and 50 cents. Why do you need this? Because if you're going to travel, you are going to collapse that base down with the wings and keep it in the pocket in one of the big pockets in your travel tote. Or I like to use a big open crate, stand it up in there. And then when you go to an event, say you're going to work on Christmas stuff at that event, you're just going to take your rainbow section and your Christmas section. You're going to stand it up in your tote. And when you get to the event, you're going to take everything out of the tote. Well, I have a hard lid on my tote. I'm going to pop that base open, that scrap rack travel base, and add those spinders to it right? It also is going to work as an expansion base. It doesn't come with the expansion connector, but you can um, just use zip ties to connect them together. Buy yourself a few extra spinders. It is a smoking deal. I don't know how many of them are available, but anybody that is a current scrap rack user, you should definitely be taking advantage of that. At some point you may want to extend or to have that travel base, or maybe you want to split your I know some people split their scrap racks. They keep all their things and sentiments on one base. So you could, or if your scrap rack is standing straight up because your pages are so full, add this extra base and spread that um, scrap rack out on the base. It's a smoking deal. You don't want to miss it. Uh, did I mention, I don't know why the 12 by 12 two drawer storage and supply case is in the clearance category, but I would scoop that up before someone realizes that that is in fact the case. Um, also, I need to get to James here and tell him about the price change on that. Um, James, price change on the set of four. Um, 
price is wrong on clearance item. Okay, sorry. I'm I'm trying to make sure you guys get the right deal on everything here. What is that item number? So the three set of four three ring storage and supply. It's my husband. He forgot that I'm doing a live right now. Apparently, uh, for PK dash. XLAC. Sorry, I'm. I know this isn't fun for you guys to watch me, but I just want to get these prices fixed. Fifteen by thirteen. Regular price is thirty dollars. Okay. All right. We'll see if they can get that fixed. All right. I'm going to see if I have any more questions popping up here. Uh, let's see. Oh. Can't believe the workstation has already gone ridiculous. I think that's just the clearance category. I don't think if you look for the workstation in the regular category, I think it's still there. I just think that the clearance items are going so fast that that is, um, that's what the problem is. So, if you look for the workstation in other colors besides what's on the clearance list, it's probably there. I'm trying to search for it right now as we're talking. Uh, let's see. It's hard when I'm the only one in the studio to... Okay, let's see what we've got. So the black workstation is still in stock. Um yeah, they're discontinuing the turquoise, so that's why it is on the clearance list right now. But the black one is still in stock, so um, that's what's going on there. All right, uh, let's see. What are the advantages and disadvantages of using fab files versus a scrap rack versus die and stamp and supply station for die storage? Why would we choose one over the other? Uh, if you're putting your dies and stamps in the scrap rack, you are probably not a die and stamp junkie, right? You're going to add so much weight to the scrap rack and you're going to need so many pockets and all of that kind of stuff. So um, I put all my dies and stamps in my scrap rack originally because I didn't have a lot of them. And then if you, if you have lots of them, then it's not, it's not the best use of the scrap rack space. Um, the catalog will help you use your things more. We'll talk about that another day. But then the difference between die stamp and supply organizer versus something like fab files is just the space that you have in your home and how you move things around. So if you rarely travel with your supplies, the die stamp and supply organizer is definitely the way to go. I mean, you can see I have one, two, three, four of them right here. The beauty of them is they're fast and easy to put your, take your things out of and put them away. If you don't have open shelving and or you want to travel with your dies and stamps, that's when you would use fab files over or, or buddy bags, the Karen buddy bag, the Kirsten buddy bag over a die stamp and supply organizer. So it's just how you craft, where you craft, when you craft all of those questions. Maybe you want to keep your best used or your most used dies and stamps in something like this. And then you're going to have all of your Christmas stamps. Uh, dies and stamps elsewhere or Halloween or things that you're not accessing all the time. But if you use lots of things repeatedly, birthday, um, uh, alphabet, those types of things, you might want to keep those in a dice stamp and supply organizer and then also use the fab files. But it really comes down to how you craft and again, how much space you have available in your room. I love open things like this because it's fast and easy to grab what you need versus having to, you know, grab another container, open that up and look through there. So it just comes down to that as personal preference and space available in your craft room, actually. All right, let's see what else we've got here. Um, what does this say? Where do we purchase the items? Uh, TotallyTiffany.com. Uh, so the Totally Tiffany website, I think if you're in the UK, and I apologize for this, 
so the other big news is all this stuff is shipping out of the U.S. warehouse. So none of none of the things on the Tolly Tiffany website going forward are going to ship out of the U.K. If you order on Tolly Tiffany, it's all coming out of the U.S. warehouse. So it'll be a little bit faster, a little bit cleaner, a little bit easier, better tracking, all that kind of stuff. If you're in the UK, Crafters Companion website is still going to carry Totally Tiffany products, and I believe they have them on sale at the same price today. So if you're UK, order from the Crafters Companion website. If you're US, order from the Totally Tiffany website because it is going to sh ship out of the US instead of shipping out of the UK. All right. Uh, let's see. Thank you for letting us know things have started. You're welcome. I was really excited when I saw things pop up today, but you know, I really, um, I, I love that you guys are here and part of the tribe. And I want to make sure that as people who are so supportive of the brand that you get as much information in the best and fastest way possible. Um, hello from Milwaukee. Hello, Milwaukee. Hello. Well, the price on the set of four, three, I don't know. I'm asking for it to be fixed right now. So it is normal. It is a few dollars off right now. You're going to get an extra 5%, but um, hopefully they're going to get that reconciled here any minute because I don't know the price on it was. Um, yeah, I don't have an email back from James, but I'm working on it. Uh, and again, $50 gets you free shipping. So keep that in mind. That's a big savings as well. Uh, let's see. So glad I caught you live. Um, thank you. Made my first order of the day. Uh, uh, right. Don't hesitate on things that you want. Just, um, just, you know, things go so fast when we have these big sales. It's crazy. Place my order. Thank you. Um, just got, my order this week. I loved everything. Yay. Okay. I'm looking for questions here. If there's anything, uh, let's see. Question. I just tuned in. I'm sorry. I can't find the clearance section on your website. So make sure, first of all, that you're on the totally Tiffany website. And then the new clearance section, you can find the drop down tab in the upper, uh, left hand corner. So it's got like the totally Tiffany thing. And then right below that, it says clearance, how to organize, blah, blah, blah. It's the very first tab on the upper left menu bar that goes across the tab. Uh, okay, let's see. Is there a five by seven fab file that is just the box, no files? There is, I'm not sure that it's in stock right now though. So I'll take a quick look here and we will see. Um, the five by seven, there is the medium fab by five by seven fab file. That's got the pockets in it, I believe, uh, nope, out of stock on just the box. So there is a box with pockets, a box with fab with files and a box with no pockets. It looks like the box with, um, with files is available for seven dollars and 19 cents i don't even see the five by seven regular box on there with the pockets hmm interesting so and there is the diced and stamp power pack if you need the pockets the box the magnets the power pack is available for thirty dollars and 39 cents that's a good buy on that as well so don't miss out on that if that's what you're looking for let's see Okay, clearance section, we found that. Question here. What is the price for the, the normal price should be $30 for the three ring album storage boxes. Um, they are, yeah, the normal price should be 30 bucks for that. So th there's definitely an issue there. So hopefully they're gonna get it corrected. Now, uh, and it should be a smoking deal because it's supposed to be 65% off of that price. So. Hopefully I'll get it corrected for y'all so you can get, take advantage of that. Okay. I think I got all the questions here. It's hard for me to see the screen that far away. Uh, you're welcome. We've been working hard to get the shipping moved back to the U S. So for those of you who are excited about the shipping from the, um, from the U S we've been 
Um, uh, Pat asks, where do I find the magnetic sheets? Um, some of them are listed with the fab file page. Some of them are listed on um, the die file. But if you just type the word, do you have a question, honey? My husband's in here. Is there gas at the rental for Goldman? No, there's no gas. Um, if you, hmm, there's mags eight by five. So if you search mags with an S eight X five, you'll get the eight by five magnets. If you're looking for the five by seven, uh, magnetic sheets. If you just type in the word mag, all the magnet stuff will pop up. You'll see all of it on one screen. So use the search box and type in mag and everything will pop up for you. Okay. Where do we place orders? On tollytiffany.com is where the, all the sale items are. Crafterscompanion.com does have some... Um, Let's see, does have some Tolly Tiffany stuff, and I believe it's on sale as well today. So if you're shopping in the UK, that's going to be where you need to go to take advantage of those items. But all the TT stuff is on the TT website. Uh, Joyce says, so happy they logged in today. I already ordered the 12 by 12 bags before hearing about the discount, but just bought the scrap rack base and craft cart toppers with the discount. Thank you. So glad you took advantage of that. The stuff in the, in the clearance category is going to go very quickly. So if you want stuff that's in there, do not hesitate on that. Um, as a matter of fact, I would even go so far as to say, uh, you may want to place your order for stuff that's in clearance really quickly, get it up to that $50 mark and place your order and then go back and do your other stuff. Because once people find out that that category is alive at that price and discount, things are going to go, like I said, very, very quickly. Um, oh. Which light stash and store holds supply cases behind you? Um, this is the number three slide stash. Oh, no, this is number four. Uh, I see I have a little cheat note on there. It says number four. Um, so, and it holds really well. This is a number five. It's the next size up. You don't need that. But the number four, and it makes it really easy to slide them in and out and off and on the shelf. They don't, they're easy to get off and on the shelf anyway, right? And and as long as you don't have them crammed together, but it does give you that extra slide slidiness, which I love, which, you know, like I love the flatness of things so that they don't get hung up on each other. And so the number four slide stash and store is perfect for your storage and supply cases. Now, I don't know about the 12 by 12 storage and supply cases. Let's test one of those out and see, like if you had a tall shelf, would this at would this one fit in the number four? Also, is it long enough? Yeah, it sure is. So if you were putting these on a tall shelf, your 12 by 12 storage and supply cases versus the smaller version, the nine by 12, um, you could use the number four also to be able to slide those off and on the shelf easily as well if you needed to do that. Like I said, if you pack them in right next to each other, the number four slide stash and store is perfect um, for getting them off and on. If they're not packed in right next to each other, they slide in and out really easily as well. All right, let's see. Is the scrap rack expanding project planner pages five pack as heavy as what comes with the original Memento Keeper binder? Yeah, they're the same thing. They're the exact same pages. So you'll, yeah. So if you're looking for those, they're ready to go. Okay. Let's say it won't let me check out. Is it because I'm Canadian? Probably. I don't know that the U.S. website, and I apologize for that, is set up to ship Canadian orders right now. Um, you could try to connect. Yeah, I don't even think there's anybody in customer service right now that, um, that would uh, be able to help you. Sorry, I apologize for that. I, I didn't realize that that was not a thing on the TTUS website, but it might be. And I'm sure we're going to get that fixed since the, when we were shipping out of the UK, we were able to ship into Canada. I'm sure we're going to figure out a way to ship into Canada. W with that said, the, um, the new 8x8 fab file or paper handler is available today. 
Um, this is the eight by eight, same, you know, it's got the same pull up handles. It fits the eight by eight, um, pocket. This is available on its own at scrapbook.com as a national scrapbook day launch. They're the only ones who have it right now. It will be in stock other places next week, but they have a special deal on just the eight by eight paper handler. If you need that with the pockets, and then they have another bundle that includes, um, a paper pad of kind of basic solid colored cardstock. So if you are looking for the eight by eight paper handler uh, and you want to take advantage of that great bundle at scrapbook.com or even the individual parts, um, it is at scrapbook.com today. They are also having a fabulous national scrapbook day celebration on that website today too. Um, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Getting ready to push my button. I, you know, the deals today are great. If you've got that little extra coupon code, um, that's going to give you a little bit more bonus. Let's see. Darn, I placed my order for over hundred worth of your great products, but forgot to use my special code. I don't suppose there's a way to add it retroactively. Um, I don't know either, uh, Deborah, but what I would do is I would email customer service and say, Hey, I forgot to add my coupon code. Here's the code. Here's my order number. Can you please apply it? And um, if I was sitting in that customer service chair, I would certainly take care of that for you. I'm sure they will too. And that only makes sense, right? So send it, just send it, uh, an email and I'm sure they can take care of that for you. Um, Shirley at Naro is having a problem getting her birthday order. Shirley, you need to email customer service at totally-tiffany.com. That's Leanne. She will track down whatever she can. Um, and, and help you with that order. So when you email her customer service at totally-tiffany.com, she doesn't work Fridays, but she'll be in on Monday. And then your name, your shipping address, any information you can give her about the order will help her track it down and she will get back to you. Uh, her specialty is dealing with special things. So she will make sure that you get taken care of. Um, website is extremely bogged down. I'm unable to check out. Okay. Not... <laughs> That's not unexpected, right? Great deals. But um, so just be patient. And um, if your thing is spinning, wait for it to stop spinning. And then it'll all um, it'll all work out. I promise you that you'll be able to check out. It just this happens all the time when there's so much going on. Um, and I debated th I, I, this live is a cause of that, right? So many people are on like trying to take advantage of the deals. And so it's always kind of a <coughs> toss up. Do I hop in and tell our best customers what's going on and risk the bogging of the website or not tell them? And I always prefer just to tell you. So I apologize for that. One of the things about moving the website back to the US is that we will have a webmaster here who is better able to equip to deal with this kind of thing. So hopefully we'll be eliminating these problems during sales in the future. I also talked with our VP in the US this morning. And one of the things she's really, really focused on is keeping everything in stock all the time. So as we transition to the US warehouse, you'll see more and more of that. One of the other questions that I was asked via email was about storing my scrap rack pages. So, I'm going to pull this over real quick. Today is the day to buy this binder if you don't already have one. This is our big zipper binder. Um, it's on the scrap rack page. You can buy it just as a cover or you can buy it with the three ring section inside the binder inside. Okay, so you can buy it with the binder inside. But all I do, these are all my extra pages. And I've just used a sticky note to um, indicate each change in page, right? Because when they're all stacked up, you can't tell what they are. So like Traders 12 starts here. Everything behind that is Traders 12. But this is a great way to store your extra scrap rack pages in one of the binders. So don't miss out on that on the sale today either. I also have, um, for those of you who might be new to scrap rack, sorry. Ugh, I, I brought this out today too. So this binder is, um, I've got a scrap rack here also. I'm going to switch my cameras here again. So I just wanted to run through really quickly what each of the pages are and what they hold. So, um, there we go. 
So this is the super size single. It is a 12 by 12, 12 and a half by 12 and a half pocket. So it's going to fit 12 by 12 anything, right? And you're going to have this extra space. So it's easy to get things in and out. All of the pockets have this little protective flap that goes over the top. Most of the, most of the things in my scrap rack, I tuck the flap behind because I'm not traveling right now. And then it's easy to pull them in and out, right? When you're flipping your scrap rack pages, I'm going to give you some tips here in a binder form. So if you're taking things with you in this binder, you always want to turn the page from the upper right hand corner and across that keeps everything down in the bottom pockets. So this is on your scrap rack shopping list. This is the P40. And then it, this also comes in a value pack of 50. This is our most common page. So that is the PV62 on your scrap rack shopping list. So at the very top of the feed, if you're watching, I put up a couple of links, one to this shopping list, which is printable. And then you can say, what do I need? And then you can check it off as you order it. Um, or I need five. I only ordered four or I only ordered two, whatever, maybe budget or um, something like that. And then you can check it off here when it's done, but you've got all these columns to add what you need and then what you purchased and helpful. Um, you can also do the same thing. You can print the product grid. So that's the other um, link that I put up at the very beginning of the feed was a link to the product grids. If you print the product grids and then you, they're not shopping list, but you could note what you bought. Can, this came up at Tuesday live, write down why you bought it. So when it comes in, you can say, oh, I bought that, you know, six drawer storage and supply case to hold my two inch diamond press inks. Thank you, Terry Wiegand for sharing that with all of us. Um, so that you remember, right? You're going to get this big shipment of stuff. You want to remember why you purchased it. So the product grids use those to help guide you through the purchase. And then also to remind you of why you bought that. So you don't want to end up with so many things and think, oh my gosh, I don't remember why I bought this. So print your product grids, print your shopping list. So we're going to go through. So this is the P40. Um, again, I just drew lines on all these so you could see them. This is the vertical double, the P80, and it holds uh, six by 12 stuff um, vertically. Now this is the double extra long also designed for six by 12 stuff, but horizontally, the difference being if you have things that are longer like this, than the 12 inches or 12 and a half inches, they're going to, they have room to stick out the top. So that's why we do basically the same pocket in two configurations. This one, these are thicker. So they're going to fit fine in that 12 by six. But if you need something to go vertically, that's going to stick out the top. You can do it that way as well. So why one or the other? That reason. Also, if you have skinny things that might drop to the bottom, this is an easy pocket to get to. Or things that are maybe only eight inches, then, they're not, then they won't drop to the bottom of this pocket and be more difficult to get to. So um, choose those. And again, all scrap rack stuff is 30% off. This is the daily double. This is in clearance today. It, you've got an eight and a half by 11 width here. Well, it's 12. And then you've got this narrow, narrow strip down the side. So perfect for things like this, where you have different sizes. Like this is just a big um, die cut that goes with this Kiwi Lane paper. So it's able to fit in there with the other scraps and stuff from that collection. Then we've got the triple play. This is the P67, three skinny vertical pockets. We've got the P42, and this all follows right along on the scrap rack shopping list. But this is going to be your, these are going to be your six by six pockets. Great for all kinds of things, but perfect for your six by six stencils as well. Five by seven. Um, this is the fantastic, fabulous five. So you've got five, five by five, four, five by seven pockets in this cute little pocket in the middle there. Um, and then of course that's going to hold kind of all your basic sizes of five by seven. The perfect six holds photos. Anything that's four by six, you can see I've got four, I've got photos on this side. Everything's crystal clear. You can see it back to front straight eight again, perfect for embellishments. Uh, this is a simply squared, very limited quantity I have in here. So if you're interested in this, it's a nine squares that are four by four. Make sure you pick that up today. Sorry. I don't have one loaded in my binder here. Traders 12, two by three, no, three by four three by four inch pockets. 
on that. So again, perfect for things like Project Life and that type of thing. Double, uh, the, the double-sided duo. So this has two pockets on the front and then a 12 by 12 pocket on the back. This is the two by one, double-sided duo, four by one, four pockets on the front, one 12 by 12 pocket on the back. So this is that loaded, right? You can see just the variety of products and then the coordinating stickers are on the back side. Uh, next, we've got our embellishment storage page. This is a heavy duty plastic and it is designed to hold heavier duty, you know, thicker, bumpier things that you don't want to put in your Trader's 12. Side note, the Trader's 12 will hold all of this stuff, but people just like these locking pockets. So um, it's double-sided. You've got 12 pockets on each side. It does have also a pocket in the middle, so you can put paper or something in the middle as well. Great for things like uh, chipboard, etc. Side loader single. Great for holding. This is an entire kit called Destinations. It has a bunch of embell embellishments, ephemera, paper, stickers in it, all in one heavy duty pocket. And this opens out this side. Now the flap, you should tuck the flap in. That helps hold things in, right? So if you tuck it in, you get that extra layer of security with that. Flip and storage page, one of my favorites, super fun. Four by six pockets on the top, right? Um, everything from embossing folders and stamps to embellishments and photos are going to fit in there. Five by seven pockets on the bottom, right? All kinds of goodies, super fun. And then it has this little locking flap over the top as well so that when you turn the page, the things don't flap off. Here's that uh, project planner page we were talking about. Same one that's in the binder. You've got three gusseted pockets on the front. A big, the 12 by 12 pocket is in the center of this. And then you've got a big pocket on the back as well. The big pocket on the back will hold some 12 by 12, as long as it is actually 12 by 12, no edges or borders. But the center pocket is a little bit bigger than 12 by 12. So don't miss that for storing your 12 by 12 items. All right, that's a quick throw, run through of the scrap rack pages. Oh, that's a heavy one. I'm gonna take another quick look here for questions. Let's see what we've got. Um, is there a reason you you can't label the bags? There's a sticky label on them. Could you put the bag name on that? I'm not 100% sure which, what question you're asking. Um, oh, maybe it's about buddy bags. Can't, can't label the buddy bags. It's possible. Something that's, yeah, I don't, I don't know why it's so hard to get that done. But if you're asking about buddy bags, just put a, the piece you know, from your, let's see if I have one in here that's, right? So I just cut the name off, call it a name tag now, when I take it out of the packaging and put it together, and then I know which bag it is. I, I don't know why it's so difficult to get the buddy bags labeled. I don't know that it will ever happen. It's something we talk about all the time. It, I don't know why it's so challenging. Truth. The truth is, is that, if that's what you're asking about the buddy bags, I think you are. Um, let's see. I'm going to go through here. You know, I, I'm going to, <clears throat> what time is it? 925. Question, is Scrap Rack expanding project planner pages? Yep, I answered that already. Uh, is the 8x8 paper handler wider than the 8x8 fab file? No, it's actually narrower than the 8x8 fab file. So there is the 8x8 paper handler. And... Here is the 8x8 fab file. So I go here. I go to this maybe. Um, you can see the difference there, right? This so this one is probably half an inch wider than the uh, paper handler. Uh, most of that is related to weight as well. So when you're carrying the paper handlers, uh, they have the pull-up handles. And so carrying them, the thicker, the wider they are, the heavier they get, the kind of the harder they are to carry. Um, can you repeat the code one more time? I can't find it. TT, totally Tiffany, NSBD, National Scrapbook Day 23. TTNSBD23 is your code to get that extra 5% off while you're shopping. Um, okay. Let's see. 
I have my cart full. Question, I have my cart full. I think we're missing part of the question on that one. I have my cart full. It will not let me go past shipping. Um, are you in the US is the first question. And that, that would be the only reason that I would might think that it's not. So I would double check your address. If you can't get that to work, then I would send an email to customer service, uh, maybe even do a screenshot of your basket and send it to them and say, I don't know why this isn't working. And then hopefully they will be able to help you push that through. But a lot of it might just be that the website is bogged down. Um, yeah, I think that's, uh, the website just might be bogged down. Okay, Phyllis says her order went through, so that's good. Let's see if we have a any back, thing back from James. No, but I am going to send an email that says, uh, James, Holly, uh, Paul. These are all the people I think might be able to help with the website. Customers. Can't check out. Help. Okay, we'll see if that gets any action on there. Okay, let's see. Uh, Ronnie, I am grateful that things will be coming out of the US warehouse. My last two orders got caught in customs. They eventually arrived, but couldn't track them. All of that should be, it should be faster. It should be more efficient. The tracking should be better, all that stuff. Um, Beverly says, you're awesome for letting us know. Love these amazing products. I hope you guys get the best deals today. So definitely, uh, I'm going to have to pop off here too or in about one minute. But is there a secret to checking out? Just, just be patient. Uh, just because I'm on and all of you are on all at the same time watching me and shopping as we're going, that's what's going on is everybody's trying to do things at the same time. So um, I know the concern is that you're going to get to finally check out and your products that you want are not going to be in your basket anymore. And I apologize for that because I know how frustrating that is. Um, but the word hasn't even gone out yet to the general, uh, totally Tiffany email list. It will go out at midnight. So be patient right now. And then you guys are going to get the best deals on the most things, but I, I apologize. I wish there was something I could do, um, to make that, to make it work better. Will the cloth binders be on sale too? I need two more. There is only one color available. I think it's black. It's on sale right now. So you definitely wanted to, oh, there might, did you look in clearance? I think, uh, let me look in the clearance tab here. There might have been one that we weren't carrying a color anymore. No, it looks like it's not in there. Um, I would look on the scrap rack binders page uh scrap rack accessories and binders that's where the plastic binders are too so if you love those plastic binders yes they're they are on sale they're 20 percent off they're on the scrap rack binders and accessory pages if you have not used the zipper binders those are one of our best sellers because you can take a section off your scrap rack zip it into that binder and go now the cloth binders are awesome because you can take multiple spinders and it has the tool storage and the shoulder strap and the pocket on the outside for your personal paper trimmer. So if you like to travel and, and crop, don't miss out on the cloth binders. They're on the scrap rack section under accessories and binders. There's pink and purple. We had a black one. I don't know why that's not showing up right now, but, um, but they're great for traveling with. The plastic binders are great for storage or just taking one section with you when you go somewhere. So the plastic binder, the zipper binder that I just showed comes with a three ring section in it and without. So one's a spinder binder cover, one's a spinder binder. So make sure you're getting the right one that you actually need and want with that. All right, my crafty friends, I could stay on here and talk to you guys all day long here. Uh, my hubby is going to freak on me. I already need multiple bags to hold all my 
unused TT storage items now. So that's a good reason to write down why you're buying them, right? So that when you cut, when they come in, you're like, okay, I bought this for this and you can actually put it to use. It'll make it faster and easier. Your brain won't be so overwhelmed, which is such a key to staying organized is not getting your brain overwhelmed, right? Okay. Let's see. Um, sorry, I'm rushing because let's see, here's some advice I think to Cami. I chose PayPal recapture was blocking me. So I went to a different browser. So that might help also Cami. Um, to label your bags, use your label maker. That's a great idea. All right, girls, mostly girls. I'm assuming. Um, thank you. Thank you for this great sale and traveling to shows this year. Second order of the day is in nice job. You'll be, I mean, the deals are so good today. You definitely don't want to pass up all the things. Um, <laughs> Judy says, I can't quit ordering. Well, today's the day to do multiple orders, Judy, for sure. Um, yes, lots of buddy bags are sold out. I apologize for that. We tried to get everything in stock for the sale. We just couldn't quite get it here in time. So maybe we'll have um, a big, oh, pink is sold out on the, on the carry binder. So look at the purple one. Um, uh, you're welcome for the explanation on the scrap rack pages. Stephanie bag bundle is out of stock now. Yeah, that was a smoking deal. I, I don't know. That was a crazy, crazy deal. So, okay, my friends, I'm going to pop off right now. Um, hope all of you have a, a good weekend and happy national scrapbook day to all of you. If there is anything left in stock, I may pop back on tomorrow and answer questions again, but it looks like things are going pretty quickly. So, um, maybe not. I am going to do a full presentation on scrap rack for those of you who have questions about it. I'll give you all the tips and tricks during a live. If it's something that you've been considering today is the day to pick it up. If you have a scrap rack, don't miss out on the clearance tab, the scrap rack travel base. It is going to make your life so much easier when you're traveling to crops and classes, or even if you just want to move things around in your room and split things up. So maybe those of you who have multiple bases, you could uh, put in, you know, add your comments on Facebook about how nice it is to have those multiple bases and be able to spread your spinders out for a little bit easier access. If your scrap rack pages are straight up and down instead of laying kind of flattish, that means you need to expand your base. This is a great time to do it. All right, everybody have a great national scrapbook day. Thanks for tuning in on this wonderful Friday morning. I may see you tomorrow for one more live event before the close of national scrapbook day sale. Take care, everybody.